Welcome to the Helen Temple Cook Library screencast series. So you need to start your research project, but you're not quite sure where to start, where to begin. There are three places that I would highly recommend you start. One is at the library catalog. This searches everything that the library has ever owned on a topic of your choosing. You can type in anything from puppies, a favorite topic of mine, to ancient Greece. And it will find all of the DVDs, all of the books, all of the resources that we have on that topic. 139 things. And we probably own more, but you have to find the right search terms. So maybe ancient Greece isn't specific enough. Maybe you want to type in ancient Greek culture. All right, so now we've come to something more specific. We've got 14 books specifically about Greek culture. So again, it's about playing around with the terms, looking to see what different kinds of resources we have on the side. And then if you find a book or a resource that you really, really like, Go to the subject within that book and say, I want more books, more resources, just like this Usborn Internet Linked Ancient World resource. Click on that and you'll find more resources just like it. It's pretty great. It's called subject searching. But back to the Dana Hall Library page. So that's the first place you can start if you'd like. Another great place to start is a LibGuide. A LibGuide is created for you, especially for projects that you're doing with your teachers. Librarians create them all the time. There's lots of them. There's one for, there's a bunch for Middle Eastern studies. There's a bunch in social studies. It's quite a lot for social studies. They're big users of the library. We like them. So, here's one about the ancient Roman world. Here, it has online sources websites, subscription databases that are really, really great um, that will help you, ebooks, reserve books, meaning books that we've pulled from the stacks that are specific to this project that are really, really helpful, as well as reference books or research uh, reference sources. Basically, anything that has a broad, general description of the topic. Things that are reference sources are things like encyclopedias or dictionaries or atlases, um, anything that covers a big topic. Reserve books get more specific. Subscription databases can be general and they can also be specific. Ebooks are generally specific. Online sources, it's a mix. Online sources, that's just websites. I mean, websites that we have looked at, we have made sure they are good, they are verifiably good. Um, they have authors, they have reliable authors on the other end of them. They're not written by sixth graders on the other side of the country for a sixth grade social studies research project. Don't cite those. The things that you want to cite are things that are reliable. You can trust books, you can trust encyclopedias, you can trust subscription databases and ebooks because we've paid for them, but online sources that you search through Google you have to actually look at them and make sure they're okay. So it's really great to go to a LibGuide and check out what we've got. Back to the Dana Hall Library website. So we've looked at the catalog. We've looked at LibGuides. Another place to go is just to explore what kind of databases we have. So if you're doing a project on science, let's say you're exploring, I don't know, say nuclear fission, Maybe you want to go to Gale Science and Context, which is a great database, and type in nuclear fission. There it is. It's even prompted me. It read my mind. And it's going to give me a description of what it is. Then it's going to show me articles in encyclopedias over here, as well as other articles about it, some audio images of what it actually looks like, videos even of an atomic test site. How cool is that? And then some of the latest articles about nuclear fission in the news. This was from a few weeks ago. 
So databases do a lot for you. And you can also trust them because they're by reputable publishers. So those are three great places to start. But of course, you can't get there unless you have library.danahall.org bookmarked. You need this site. This is the key to success.